Okay, let's um, let's pray and then we'll get started. Yeah. Let's just commit ourselves to the Lord. We read in Hosea, it says, come, let us return to the Lord. Um, I know we are people who are in Christ, who are in the Lord, who are walking with him. Um, but let's just uh, think about that statement. Come, let us return to the Lord. In what way have we uh, walked away? In what way have we distanced ourselves from the Lord? And um, today, you know, there's an invitation to return to the Lord. Um, in whatever aspects that we have walked away from him, today we have an opportunity to uh, return to him. Come, let us return to the Lord. So let's take some time to do that in our own hearts and minds. We just tell the Lord, yes, Lord, this in this area or in this aspect, I want to return to you. I want to come back to you, come back to how it was. And, and Lord, I pray that you would take me even further. Um, maybe it's something to do with the personal worship, personal prayer, personal time of uh, reading the word and uh, meditation. And um, maybe it's witnessing. Maybe it's um, it's something to do with uh, um, that we using the gifts of the Spirit, being used by the Holy Spirit in the gifts of the Spirit uh, to bless others, um, you know, whatever. Uh, maybe, you know, it's it's something to do with pursuing the knowledge of the Lord, pursuing the knowledge of God, and just knowing God. So um, let's just tell the Lord, Lord, uh, I want to return to you in this. Hallelujah. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your timely word. Thank you for your invitation, Lord, um, for your instruction, Lord. Thank you for drawing us, Lord, with your love. Thank you, Lord, that you, Lord, convict us by the work of your spirit and draw us with your love. We thank you for the mercy that is always available. We thank you for the grace that is always available for us, God. And uh, Lord, right now, we, we just turn ourselves up to lay hold of that for which you've laid hold of us, God. And um, yes, Lord, we make it our, uh, our choice today, our commitment today to return to you in all these areas, God. Um, Yes, Master, we want to be used by you, and we pray that, uh, Spirit of God, that you would fill us, anoint us afresh, empower us, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Um, yes, Lord, I just come at each and every person in this class into your mighty hands. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Right. So, um, just a quick uh, update. We have, uh, I've just, um, I think it was Dave who was asking about a template for the project report, you know, if there's some kind of a template. So uh, Deborah uh, from e-learning uh, class, uh, she actually uh, uh, sent a couple of uh, templates. So I've, um, uh, she checked online and sent a couple of templates. So I've, I've uploaded one and uh, I think you can use that. You can check it. It's in the classwork section. So you can, uh, you could use that. Um, so it's it's good. There's also another book that uh, uh, Vasashi had uh, sent to me, and I just want to, you know, just just go through it. Um, uh, I just want to go through it fully, um, and then um, maybe that can be used as well. And I'll upload it probably by uh, afternoon. Um, I'll do that, or by or by evening today. Yeah. Okay. So um, so just to uh, review. Some of the things that we looked at in the last class, we, um, you know, we we looked at what this entire course is about. Uh, it's uh, uh, like the name suggests. It's a uh, independent. It's not a group activity. It's an independent uh, research project, a research paper. So you uh, do a research, uh, investigate, um, and then uh, report your findings. Um, in the form of a report, in the form of a thesis, and uh, the assessment is um, uh, twofold. One is the uh, report that you would submit, uh, uh, a written report. Uh, of course, it's a soft copy 
So we have a format for that, uh, how the heading should be, what the font should be, what the line spacing should be. Uh, if you're quoting someone, how should that be? If there is a table um, of contents, uh, or no, sorry, not table of content. It's a if it's a, if it's a statistical table that you want to put for, uh, you that you want to put in your report. Uh, how should that be? If you want to, uh, you know, insert a picture, uh, how should that be? So the MLA, the modern language, um, uh, that that for association, that format, would give you the uh, uh, you know specifics of that, and then you can check the template as well, right? Um, so that's the um, that's one part of it. The the, the other uh, part of the assessment is the. Uh, presentation that you would make. So those of those of us who are in the online class would make a presentation uh, in class uh, like this. So you would take about 15 minutes to present, and there would be five minutes for interactions, maybe question and answers, uh, based on what you presented. So 20 minutes would go for each person. So um, the dates are also mentioned um, in the in, in the guidelines, the IRP guidelines. So you could check that, right? So that's that's about it. So last class we looked at, you know, what are the uh, what is the scope of the project? Like, what are the kind of topics? So we discuss the timeline for that. And so 25th January is uh, is when uh, 25th is a Tuesday. So on or before 9 a.m. by 25th January, you need to submit a one-page um, report, uh, a draft on what you want your uh, uh, what is going to be your research project, right? What is the topic? Uh, what are you going to do? Um, what are you going to, um, you know, uh, research about? What are you going to write on? And also, you can include uh, what is the research method, right? Uh, like, are you going to be meeting people? Are you going to be um, uh, giving out questionnaires? Because you're going to be collecting information. Are you going to be visiting libraries? Are you going to be um, you know, checking online, obviously, you will do that. So mention that research method methodology, right? And uh, yeah, so that's a one-page thing um, that you would, uh, uh, yeah. OK, so we have a question. Kiran is asking, sir, shall I take city names? Um, so what do you mean by that, Kiran? Can you just explain, please? City names, in the sense. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. So. Okay, so uh, just I want to just confirm that we can take like a city names like a, uh, the the Jerusalem, the Yehudia, like that, and we can compare and like that. Like we we can share the gospel to everywhere. We can uh, point over there. So, yeah. Okay, you take a city name, and then, like let's say you, uh, just tell me. Uh, Tell me again, you take a city name in the sense, okay, let's say Bangalore city, okay, and then what would you want to do? Um, you're muted, uh, Kiran. Your mic is oh, muted. Sorry, sir. Yeah. So if we, we uh, if I take the uh, Bangalore name, then how we, how uh, I can say the gospel, the different different state, the college is there, school is there, mm. the garden. Then how? Then I shall I take the city name, sir, and I point some. Okay, so your, your your question is, um, so can your topic be how can I reach the city, right? Yes, how can yes, I uh, reach the city with the gospel? So yeah so you can do that of course um so yeah Karen. so let's just take this time um which is what we wanted to do it just takes us time to discuss about um you know what topics you might want to you know pursue okay so uh, we can take this time um in this today's class to talk about that and, uh, and the feasibility of that right so uh, like i said you're always free to email me um, so that I, you know, I can give a more detailed explanation or, you know, um, uh, suggestion. But we can also, you know, discuss in class, right? Or you can also put it on the stream uh, where we can, you know, discuss that. Okay, so Kiran's question is, okay, can I 
uh, take a city and uh, and uh, can my topic be uh, this you know how to reach a city with the gospel of jesus christ okay so you take a city or you can take your your city maybe and um, yeah you can definitely do that um, but the only thing is um, you know a city is very vast right? it depends which place you pick let's say uh, you're in uh, kolkata kiran are you in kolkata yes, Kolkata. Okay. Okay. You're in Kolkata. Let's say you you take Kolkata. Now Kolkata is a very vast. Um, I mean, so it's a big city. Like it's a, it's it's one of the metros. Um, so if you take Kolkata, now now there are different uh, sections of the city. You know, in the sense uh, geographically. Okay. Uh, now you have the industrial area. You have the corporates. You have the residential areas. Uh, so you have to study the city. and uh, and see how you can reach out to different uh, you know different kinds of people now who are the you will have also have to study of course uh, like who are the people who are there right uh, you and uh, what kind of people live in the city you know of course you will have uh, um, you know people who are native to kolkata who speak bengali and uh, you know who are uh, who are there and maybe you have people who have come from other parts of the nation you know maybe from south india maybe from east uh, maybe from the west or north who have come to kolkata to live there to um, to for a you know in terms of employment or studies even so you'll have uh, different kinds of people you'll have you know um, working professionals you have uh, maybe students then you have uh, you know people who are migrant labor laborers who have come there uh, and they are working as you know working in parlors working in you know different kinds of things so you will it's a very vast thing right so you need to think and say okay do i am i going to do a study on how to reach all of them now that's not possible between now and april you know if you need to uh, finish the project within uh, i mean i'm not saying it it's it's not impossible but it's going to you know if it's if you're going to only do that only the research uh, part of it uh, then it might be possible but since you have other subjects to you know study and work on uh, i would suggest that you pick maybe one section of the city you know maybe uh, or one group of people in the city who have not been reached you know you can so for that you also need to study uh, who are this group of people you know maybe the most unreached group of people group of people in the city and uh, and you know uh, maybe you can study about where they live what they do what are their beliefs and uh, you know and and then work on a strategy how can the church reach you could do that yeah so think about that and uh, you could do that yes sure okay so um what about the others like eren did you think of a topic uh, anything that you're um, you know thinking about any options that you're considering for the research um or anyone else also like dave kanan thomas said Um, blessing i know you just joined but you're also free to share uh, what is the topic that you are considering um okay so um not yet okay eren so uh, that's fine but we are you you have uh, you know today's uh, today's tuesday or uh, wednesday you have uh, you know like six more days to just think about the topic and then you know write the draft and submit it so you uh, it's suggest that you uh, think about it and also you know um, we can discuss it right uh, what about you dev anything that you have in mind uh, christianity in nepal okay mm so anything about any specifics about that Christianity in Nepal that you can think of. Um, uh, 
you uh, you know you want to do something about the origin okay how it started um and and their transformation through the years okay okay that can be something that you can do yeah that will be um, that'll be something that you can do okay so you can backtrack and you can see who were the first missionaries who arrived in nepal um where did they uh, I, where did they start the work um so you yeah you might have to uh, check uh, online of course you will have a you know wealth of resources to find out um, you know how the whole thing started right in nepal how did christianity start in nepal um and uh, who were the first people to come there who were the people who started it how did they start it and uh, what did they face etc you know you'll find that information um but with that okay their methods etc and of course you also want to talk about the current situation at present and the struggles of the start of churches okay okay um okay so you current situation if you're going to uh talk about maybe it'll be a good idea to map the entire country um uh, i know it's it's small area uh and not very vast but then you can you know you can uh, map the you know city wise village wise and see uh, you know uh, i'm sure there's research and findings available online also or maybe in the library uh, about um, the kind of churches which are there you know i know that you have the uh, you know the ag church or maybe the independent church um, etc so you you could you know check uh, about that and see what is um, you know uh, like how how old these churches are some of these churches and what are the uh, in the last 10 years were there any new churches that have come in um, and what are their challenges they are facing and how they can overcome okay and also the way forward right um, maybe that will be helpful for those who are considering uh, ministry in nepal so uh, you can also you know uh, talk about maybe some of the mistakes or presumptions that uh, you know churches make in uh, in in terms of uh, you know reaching out and you know uh, maybe if, if you feel that okay this is why there is so much of persecution you know sometimes what happens is persecution happens because uh, of course the message itself you know we know the gospel attracts persecution right uh, you know those who want to live a righteous life will suffer persecution for all rights and the message itself is uh, is is offensive right the, the, there is this offense which is which comes with the gospel so um uh, that apart you know is there anything that the church has done maybe culturally you know maybe maybe people feel it's a western thing because that's how you know they've seen it they feel that they are losing their cultural identity because of um, you know because of churches because of whatever you know just you think about it and um, and then you know that could be a good thing also to address okay maybe we need to um, you know we need to do uh, evangelism or or uh, you, know, uh, you know the church can uh, be like this oh uh, sorry yeah so you can you could do that right um okay and these are just uh, some uh, thoughts uh, they so you don't have to strictly go by it i'm just giving some suggestions but you know you think about it you pray about it and and you see um, you know what uh, what you are interested in and then you can do that right so i'm just giving some suggestions okay so aaron is asking um, is it's only based on biblical terms right yeah so the thing is uh, biblical terms in the sense um, so it can be something that is uh, social political religious uh, uh, which is you know which which is there right out there where you live or you know some place that you uh, that you have in mind uh, but you're giving a biblical response you know your reference point is the scripture right so uh, you're giving a biblical uh, response recommendation to those challenges so that is the thing so when we say um, it's based on the bible uh, biblical response or biblical reference point so that is it so we're saying okay this is what 
you know, is is the challenge. But, um, you know, this is what the word of God says, and this is how we can overcome that. So that's what we mean by that. Yeah. Okay, so Siddha, Siddha is asking, uh, can we pick a topic like addiction, reaching out to people who are in depression or alcohol or porn? Okay, so three different areas um, we are talking about. Okay, depression or alcoholism or uh, who are into porn. So you can, um, yeah, so you can, so alcohol and porn come under the category of addiction and uh, depression, more of a emotional, psychological, um, you know, um, uh, challenge. Uh, uh, or even sometimes physiological thing, you know, something to do with the body, which causes, um, uh, you know, not the right hormones not being secre secreted, and then because of which there is, uh, you know, depression. So uh, it could be that as well, or it could be a spiritual thing, um, a spiritual oppression, and because of which there's depression. So, yeah, so you could do that, uh, Sid. So you could do that. So, but um, I would say you pick maybe one or two. Um, like even if you, um, you know, let's say if you're picking uh, depression or alcohol or porn, um, you uh, like like we said before, you think about the scope of the research. Okay, so now uh, in what like you can you can go really um, you can go in a focused manner, or you can go a general thing. You know, and when I say focus, I'm saying you know what, what is the age group that you are looking at? You know, maybe among the teens. Maybe among maybe IT professionals, you know, uh, maybe among a particular gender, you know, you can talk about men, you can talk about women, and you can say, okay, um, or or a or a particular group of people, you know, like a particular nationality, whatever. You can um, you can look at that and say, okay, uh, you know, why is this happening? You know, is it because of some challenge? Is it because of some cultural things, traditional things that they're doing, right? Maybe um, so uh, the youngsters are exposed to alcohol at an early age or exposed to drugs at an early age or, you know, something like that, you know, like uh, maybe there are broken homes uh, because of which there are the kids are playing spending a lot of time on the streets and there are street gangs which um, you know force them into drugs or or you know kind of um, uh, you know draw them into drugs uh, drugs peddling of drugs selling of drugs and so on so um, you so you can you can look at that so it can be uh, you know a specific age group it can be a specific um, um, demographic so you can think about that uh, definitely, you can do uh, you can do a topic like uh, addiction. So, so one part of it, one uh, one part of that research would be what is the problem, right? So, uh, why? So, what is the problem? Uh, why is there a problem uh, like this, like this addiction or alcohol alcoholism or porn? Why is it there uh, in this particular group of people or the society? Uh, and uh, and then you know uh, uh, like so that's the challenge and what are what is being done right now so you could you could talk about that what is being done right now what is the effectiveness of those methods right what is being done right now now so that will also involve some amount of research right okay what are the churches doing what are the uh, NGOs doing what are the uh, you know other uh, saying not churches, not NGOs. Maybe you can even think of you know what are the secular organizations, um, the, like the rehabs, like the de addiction centers, which are maybe run by the government. Um, you know how are they addressing this challenge? And uh, and definitely you know uh, you can say okay how can the church help? Like how can the believer? How can the group of believer? Uh, you know help because there's so much in the word of God. There's so much power in the word of God. So how can you know, how can they bring about? Uh, solution to that right so you can yeah you can talk about that you can uh, do a research on that sure okay. um, or you can even you know you can even pick the church you know addiction in the church right I think that would be a, a kind of a, 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 I don't know a controversial thing right 
it would be and it, it would be actually very relevant you know like uh, challenge because some of these things just go unaddressed you know we just we just sometimes think it, it's out there but what about the group of believers themselves struggling silently uh, not reaching out for help you know so you can you can look at the church itself but the challenge again is okay how will you find out right how will you uh make a survey how will you find out information now that would be a challenge that needs to be something that you can work on uh, but if you're looking at mysore and uh, if you're looking at you know some of the challenges of the church maybe you can make it uh, anonymous you know uh, you don't have to uh, put names put uh, you know mention church names mention pastors names or mention the names of the person of course you should not keep it anonymous but you can uh, do a you know a good research and find out uh, you know what is it are people struggling are people reaching out um, maybe even checking with some counselors counselors would of course uh, you know uh, not reveal the identity of the people but you can get a general thing you know how many males how many females how many you know age group what is the age group what is the you know what is their profession are they believers unbelievers uh, you know is uh, you know what are they struggling with why and so on and you might come across three four main things that they are not doing or they are doing because of which you know they are struggling um, and then you can come out with solutions right okay so that's a uh, yeah okay so so um thomas anything that you have on your mind kanan um thomas you can type or you can uh, you can just let me know and mute and speak oh uh, so um, i'm thinking about yeah, particular state in karnataka yeah. uh, i'm sorry you're thinking about karnataka is a topic of a revival is it happening mm. or what are the struggles or challenges uh, okay the revival okay in both angle so, i am seeing whether happening mm-hmm. or any st- obstacles for the revival and uh, how okay. to we we can pray about for that so revival in karnataka right karnataka as a state uh, oh. revival so it would help to define revival it will help to def- um, also talk about what happens in revival you know because uh, because when we are saying okay um, uh of course you would have done through done some of the you know in revivals visitations you would have studied that so i would say uh you know obviously you'll have to mention what revival is so but don't pick information from there right because it's something that you already done um but you can of course definitely you need to define what revival is what happens uh Uh, during a time of revival uh, the outpouring of the spirit what are some of the distinguishing um, you know characteristics and and what is happening right now in the church um, in in karnataka what is happening right now and uh, yeah what needs to be done so maybe you can you can you can even in, um, you know uh, interview some of the pastors you know some of the senior uh, pastors if you have access uh, some of the uh, pastors who've been in the city uh, in bangalore or maybe other towns um who have kind of uh, you know uh, been there experienced the move of the spirit uh, maybe in their church maybe something like that you know we do, we don't really have information of course we have about other places uh, and even in india right but uh, typically in karnataka about revival Uh, i don't know i haven't really read uh, anything so it, it will be interesting it will be really interesting nice topic you can you can yeah you can actually research and find out um uh, what is happening um 
and uh, what we what we as believers we as churches and pastors uh should really do you know pursue the presence of god prayer uh and other things you know good so you can do that sure right uh but it would also i just want to yeah i just want to tell you uh, not not just for thomas but uh, also others but that it will um you know involve a little bit of uh, a lot more lot more work in finding out right so you won't find it in one place you may not find one article you may not find one you know research uh, report or something you may not find it so uh, you will have to kind of investigate you will have to go through uh, numerous uh, you know uh, articles or books or whatever um, in order to find out so i just want to you know kind of alert you to that so that it will involve that so uh, you, and you need to do that regularly you know not keep it for uh a later time later date and say okay this report is you know i i need to submit it only then so i'll do it at two weeks before that no it won't happen you know you'll be under so much of pressure and you may not find information and you may not uh, you know people may not be available uh to share or to give you interviews um so i would say that you do it regularly i right? do it regularly maybe every week uh and uh, you know if possible every other day some work uh needs to go towards this okay some reading towards this some uh, searching online towards this some meeting people you know if you've already kind of in that process um so you will need to do that right so i just want to alert you to that um yeah But thomas yeah you can definitely talk about this revival in karnataka past present future challenges recommendations you know how and uh, from a biblical standpoint how did it happen how does the outpouring so that uh, yeah you can use that sure okay kanan thank you bro yeah thomas kanan anything that you're thinking about yeah yeah kanan uh, yeah i also when you speak about the uh the region about the people mm-hmm. right yeah so uh, that time i also uh, uh, thought of like um, in our place we have uh, some people groups they don't have uh, scripts they mm-hmm. only have a spoken language okay uh, still there uh, there are many people they don't keep even uh, heard the word about the jesus mm mm-hmm. they don't know the word jesus So, right um how can we bring gospel to them mm like that okay okay so this is uh, like you're talking about erod tripur uh, which area are you no, talking no, no. about it's in um uh nilgiris so hill area yeah nilgiris uh, like is it about the todas irulas what community specifically um there are a lot of people there mm. i think uh, uh many groups are there so uh, oh. i want to basically sorry, sorry, my I... topic is uh basically my topic is the people who don't have um, scripts they only have spoken language and also the the people who didn't hear about jesus right right uh, okay yeah. yeah so those who don't have a written uh, language as yet uh, yeah so that that would be um, something you know i, I think um, uh, some of these organizations which do uh, translations you no know, bible translations um, so they would have the data right so you can actually make use of that they would have the data about okay these are it's here and you know this is they we've done translation in so many languages and uh, and these are uh you know languages which which we for which we there is no bible you know there is no um, uh, physical bible yet and translation in progress and so on so you can or they might have one portion like they might have the book of uh, you know john the gospel of john uh, like that um, so you can you know you can uh, think you can work on that but one more thing to think about is um see the how 
uh, you know, do they use the language? You know, that's also the other thing. You know, I know that, um, see, one needs to preserve the language and so on. Otherwise, the language, you know, just disappears. And uh, uh, among the people groups, right, one needs to uh, think. But also, you know, you see that a lot of people move, you know, uh, for in terms of livelihood, Right? They move to the city, they le learn that language, they get educated in that language, they go to a, maybe to a village school or a, you know, a, a city school, and uh, they learn that language. And so reaching out to them, uh, you know, how, how would it happen? You know, does the script needs to be formed again? But the thing is, they are more comfortable probably in the language that they are learning in school or you know, they are being educated in or they are working. That's a, you know, so that is also something to think about, right? So, for example, they they might know multiple languages. They might know, uh, you know, that, that, that tribal language, but they might also know Tamil because that is what they interact with, with the rest of the community, you know, in terms of business, in terms of trade, in terms of uh, whatever, you know, maybe they are educated themselves uh, and they are working. So, uh, would Tamil itself be okay, right? Uh, things like that. You know, those are things that you need to think about uh, because when you say unreached, uh, there could be many. So you need to be specific. You need to uh, like get into the details and see, okay, who are these people? First of all, Neil Gris, um, that's a great, um, you know, a geographical territory, you know, that whole hill area, Kunor, Metapolium onwards, right? Metapolium to Uti to even the other side, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, coming down Godalur and coming all the way down. Um, so that's a good territory. And uh, I'm sure you will find information on, you know, what are the different uh, uh, groups which are living there. You know, some are very tribal, some are kind of, uh, they moved to the city, so those kind of things. And yeah. So I'm sure, you know, uh, work has been done, uh, but you could see how else, you know, what else can be done. Uh, and I'm sure that will, you know, when you just investigate, when you pray and when you look into the word, uh, do a study, how did Paul reach out? How, you know, I'm sure that there will be some unique ways um, by which, um, you know, uh, we can reach out right, uh, the Holy Spirit will highlight. Uh, but you just need to read a lot. You just need to read quite a bit, uh, explore quite a bit, and you will find the, you know, find the information. Uh, and you can put together, yeah, that'll be good. Right. So that's good, Kana, you can do that, sure. Um, yeah, Blessing, any thoughts? That we've been saying about um, the topic for the research. So if there's anything on your mind, you can, you could share that. Um, you could just put it on the no, chat sir, well. I don't have anything in mind now, but okay. I will submit before the deadline you gave, yes. Sure, sure. Yeah, okay. So uh, uh, where do you, uh, where do you live, Blessing? Um, which, which country do you live in? Okay, I live in... Both Nigeria and Hungary, so I just am um, intercept between the two countries. Sometimes I'm in Nigeria and sometimes I'm in Hungary. Yes, yeah, so. Hung Hungary. Okay, okay, right. Yeah, so you, um, yeah, you can you can think about uh, what uh, what really catches your attention. Uh, maybe in Hungary, maybe in Nigeria. You know, it can be uh, maybe some social issues, uh, maybe some political things, uh, and. Uh, challenges which are there and uh, what the word of God has to say, you know, as a believer, you know, by the word and the spirit, how can you know, change be brought there? You can think about that. Uh, or mm -hmm. you can, yeah, it can be a, you know, it can be a purely uh, academic biblical study as well. You know, you, you're uh, talking about uh, maybe faith or, you know, uh, going deeper in the spirit or something like that. It can be that also. Uh, but it has mm -hmm. to be, um, yeah, it has to be a little, um, it has to be original, you know, it, it can't be uh, something that it has already been, uh, 
you know discuss in the class or discuss during the course so it uh, needs to be have some original thought and application so yeah so think about it uh, the only thing is uh, you know 25th is the uh, is the date for submission of that uh, one page draft right with the topic uh, and also um, you know, the search methodology etc so um, of course we will have a discussion once that is submitted uh, on that as well right so we how we can fine tune it how how we can get into the specifics we'll talk about that as well um yeah but tuesday uh, 25th is something that you need to uh, work towards right okay sure it's okay sir okay right okay so aaron anything from what we've discussed any thoughts any spark any ideas thing aaron is typing um yeah so um so these are some um it's it's good so uh, all of you i think there's something forming right some some idea some vague things um and as we go further it, i'm sure it'll be even clearer but um but the only thing is uh, you know you need to decide what uh, that you're going to do and that then the topic and of course you know let's say there are some additions to it there could be some uh, fine tuning to it you know maybe you decided oh i, I want to do this like uh, i'm just looking at the chat and uh, revival in karnataka you know i just put it based on what thomas said uh, but maybe thomas you you change your mind and you want to look at you know maybe uh, a couple of villages or maybe a couple of cities you know coastal karnataka right so um, yeah erin you want to say something um, yeah pastor um is it okay to do in the topic like um leadership in authority in church today leadership and authority in the church today okay so uh, what exactly do you have in mind i mean it's good but what is it about the leadership and authority that you want to you know uh, address um uh -huh. that is something that you need to ask yourself you know yeah. um um what is it that you're noticing in the church is there something that is uh, different from what you see in the bible uh, do you want to talk about that or do you see you know what are the uh, something that is uh, something that's going good and you want to talk about that or something that is bad something that is abused you know when you say leadership and authority uh, maybe there's some damage done to people you know because of abuse of it maybe you want to address that you can talk about that um maybe so when you, when you say church you know uh, are you in um, are you in uh, kohima eren or no question um, um kuchu and near okay. near kohima near kohima okay yeah. so i know there are you know many uh, different kinds of churches right like you have a lot of presbyterian churches you have uh, uh, some independent churches as well and you also have churches for like different um, uh, different communities you no know, different tribes right you have the uh, i don't know ao or uh, what is that suma is it suma semi say hey, sema sema yeah so sema ao so uh, so you can even you know talk about that okay these are 12 15 tribes languages uh is there any difference in the leadership and authority um or you know uh, how is it done in the mainline churches how is it in the thing because different church structures right so you can think on those lines yeah um yeah so definitely we can look into the word and uh, you know draw from the instructions which paul gives the uh, you know gives titus and timothy about leadership and um, how to serve and so on and also from the life of the lord jesus you know how he came to be a servant leader and uh, and uh, how he says you know so uh, you know uh, those of you who desire uh, uh, to be great let him be first be the slave and and so on so we we get some idea about the kind of leadership um, that is required um leadership qualities 
So yeah, you could study and see, is it there? Uh, or, you know, like, do we, do we need some changes? How can people be groomed to be such leaders or something like that? You can think about it. Um, yeah, it helps to be uh, specific just because of the, you know, we don't have like six months. We have about three and three and a half months, right? So uh, it would help to kind of narrow down and be specific and uh, and talk about maybe if there are 10 things that are there, maybe you can just reduce it to five things that you want to talk about leadership and authority. Um, yeah, you could do that. You can do that, sure. Sure, Pastor, thank you. Right, okay. Yeah. So like I was saying, you know, uh, for Thomas also again about the scope, when it's revival in Karnataka, maybe you want to look at coastal Karnataka, maybe you want to look at the cities, you know, uh, you think about it. And so um, during the course of our discussions, we can always, you know, change the scope. Okay, but, uh, uh, but I would suggest that, uh, you know, that, um, that, that earlier on, we, we kind of settle down, we kind of fix it because your effort towards the research work, paperwork, uh, research paper, would, uh, would 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 need that right you can be focused you can put all your efforts uh, and once you once you've really said okay or narrowed down and say okay this is what i'm going to be looking at uh, otherwise it will be wasted effort you know you're looking at so many things you and then you know you're not you're not decided on what to go after right okay fine so we'll we'll stop here and uh, so i look forward to you you know, you guys uh, submitting that one page draft, uh, the specifics of that are, are there again in the, every time, you know, you just go to the uh, IRP guidelines, which are uploaded in the classwork section. Um, make a note of the dates when you need to submit and then just go through that. Okay. And if you need any clarification, of course, you're free to, you know, discuss among yourself, uh, among yourselves. Uh, and also you free to put it on the stream so that I can, you know, uh, answer. Uh, and also you can, you're free to email me as well. Right. Okay. Um, so, right. Thank you. You guys have a good day. We'll catch up again um, in our next class. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you, Pastor. Right. See you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Right. See you guys. Bye-bye. Uh, Kanan, you want to say something? Yeah, we, we have uh, another class, right? The next one? or um... No, uh, no, Kanan. Today it's a... No, no, IRP is only one. Uh, research is only one hour weekly. Oh. So today it's only one hour. Then tomorrow we have... Uh, Sorry? Yeah, I, I saw something like uh, two classes. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I think it's tomorrow. Sorry. Tomorrow, when we have discipleship and small groups, uh, uh, okay. yeah, that is two two classes. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. Okay. See you. Bye. -bye.